Hey, what's up? I am, well actually my Roomba is vacuuming the floor this morning. Um, and I put everything on the couch and then I put the bar stools in the room and then I put the table over there. Okay, I have a few things. Let's go in here. I have a few things that I need to share. So I did this in the shower this morning. I think I got it in the Sephora birthday gift pack. This and I also got the, I think it's Briogeo. Briagio Scalp Revival Shampoo. This came in a pack, I think, for the Sephora birthday gifts. So I tried this. I've tried it before, but I don't think I used it right the first time that I tried it, and I hated it. So I was bold and wanted to try it again today, and it is incredible. I think what I did wrong last time was I put conditioner in after. The directions say to put it in after shampooing and then just rinse it and they don't have any instructions for after. So I thought you would just follow up with conditioner and it made my hair way too flat and oily. So I tried it today without putting any conditioner in after and it is so good. Christian turned on the rotating LED lights. So if you get distracted, I'm sorry, they're just rotating through different colors. But actually, Christian and I are doing something super fun. We're going down to West Palm Beach today to celebrate his brother-in-law's birthday. So it's his sister's husband's birthday. And we're going down to meet them in West Palm Beach at Drive Shack down there. They don't live in West Palm Beach. They're just going up there, I guess, for the weekend. And we're gonna meet them there, so I think it's gonna be so fun. So that's what's going on. We're following all COVID guidelines. We're trying our best to be safe, keep everyone around us safe, obviously wearing masks. We're not flying, we're driving. And also, sorry if you can hear the laundry going in the background. But um, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm just packing up my stuff right now. I'm gonna show you how I pack really light and easily. But um, I wanted to just start off this vlog and say hi. Anyways, yeah, let me show you my little packing tip that I have for you. So my little packing tip. I also came across this right here. I've been using this since high school and I just found it because I was going through my drawers trying to find little products to take on my trip because I always buy little products from Sephora or do the 100 points and I save them for times like this because I just don't like packing my full size products with me. So I'm bringing this um, water sleeping mask by Laneige. I actually used this the other night and it's so good. If you know the Glow Recipe watermelon sleeping mask, it kind of feels just like that. Um, super hydrating. I like it so far, but I feel like I need to use it a few more times before I can really give you a good review on it but so far the one time that I used it it's good so I'm gonna bring this with me because it's little and my moisturizer is huge since I'm only going away for a night I really don't feel the need to bring all of my skincare it just doesn't make sense to me and they're all full-size products and they just take up a lot of room so this is perfect just a one-step nighttime skincare so I just ordered stuff from aloe and this came with it and it's their skincare line so I figured why not just bring it with me so I can try it out? Never tried their skincare before, but I thought it was so nice how they just gave me a bunch of free samples of their skincare with my order. So it has the Enzyme Facial Cleaner, Radiant Serum, Luminizing Face Moisturizer, Mega C Body Wash, and Head to Toe Glow Oil. And I just think this is everything that I need, basically. I also did wanna say that if I was going away for maybe like a week or many many days i would probably bring my full skincare but since it's just a weekend just one night i don't really see the point in bringing all of my full size skincare so i just think this is just an easy way to pack light to just have smaller size skincare on hand for when you do go away or travel obviously covid and everything so we're not doing that that much but yeah it's just my little tip This is what I'm wearing for our road trip. This is from Shein. This is um, Airy. It's like a little bra top. Sometimes I wear it as a top. 
a lot of the time I wear it as a bra. These um, sweatpants are Amazon and they're men's sweatpants. I have them linked in my Amazon shop. And then just slides. Um, Christian had to run back upstairs. I think this weather here is gonna make my hair fall. I don't know how the weather is in West Palm Beach, but I just wanna bring my curling iron just in case I know that's so extra, but. Just got the Skims masks in. I got a pack of five. It was so funny because I feel like I manifested it in a way where I was like, um, I was wanting them to come back in stock and I commented on their Instagram photo and I was like, when are this mask coming back in stock? And then the next day they came back in stock. It was just weird. I don't know, so I ordered some. I ordered a pack of five and um, of the, I don't know what color this is. It's not the lightest color, it's the second color um, that they have, so. So I'm like talking while I'm putting chapstick on, but I really like them a lot. Here, I'll show you what they look like on. It just looks like a mask, but I find it super breathable. It doesn't take your makeup off, which I like. I mean, you can't really help the nose part. I feel like the nose parts, they take it takes your makeup off on the nose a little bit, but you really can't help that. I feel like that's how all masks are. But um, yeah, so we're heading to Starbucks first. Um, it's 2.45, so we're about to head, get on the road to West Palm and yeah I don't know why it's taking him so long he just went up Christian just went back upstairs to get um, a phone charger if I said that he also grabbed my curling iron which I know I said but um I'm driving which I don't mind driving it's fine oh there he is Can I do a tall latte with almond milk? Almond milk? Anything else? Yes. Can I do a grande iced coffee with vanilla sweet cream cold foam? Okay, I just got grande iced coffee with sweet cream cold foam. I got a latte, a hot latte with almond milk. And he's gonna taste test it because he tried Dunkin' Donuts latte with almond milk and he loved it and he wants to compare he likes Duncan Duncan's better Starbucks will always be my number one okay now we're on the road so I'm gonna stop vlogging
Well, it's uh, the next day. We just packed up all of our stuff and now we're heading to brunch. <laughs> yeah. I don't want it back here. You want it up in the front? You want to stare at it? I don't want it to fall. I want to put it... Oh, I should have gotten a Starbucks. We can walk over there. You Do we think we have enough time? You wanna walk over there? We're walking back to the car. We just got Starbucks for the road. And Christian keeps saying that Dunkin' is better than Starbucks. Which... What do I know? I'm not I a just, coffee drinker, you know? Wait. I gotta change. Not another I got, for sure. Okay, I got vanilla sweet cream cold foam. Over iced coffee. It's really good. I just did the sweet cream cold foam yesterday on our way here. We had brunch at Batch and it was really good. It's like a southern style restaurant. And I got the brisket burger over potatoes. It's really good. Christian and I got back home um, probably about an hour and a half ago now. And I'm packed because we are both immediate unpackers and cleaner uppers. Is that a word? So we unpacked, we went to the grocery store and got a few things that we just need for the week. Now I'm heading to Taylor's house and meeting up with Taylor and Maya and we're gonna just do like a little night girls night on a Sunday um, I'm really tired but I'm excited to 